everyone so today I have uh, some wood wick candles from Free Rain Farm and I already opened the box but I did not actually take anything out of the box I opened it not knowing what I had in it so with that being said this is exactly how it was presented to me as soon as I opened it and saw what it was I stopped and uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out the candles together and I might even light one just to test this theory so Basically, their thing is, they're saying that never fail wicks it because uh, the way it's made is that it'll light every time. You know, just kind of like how regular candles, you sometimes have to light, hold the lighter there for a good little bit or keep trying because it's just not wanting to catch. So, if that's the case, this is going to be a real winner in my book. So, as much as I love candles, I really hate when I got to stand there trying to light it for you know, 10 times longer than I should. Not a huge deal, but just a convenience thing. So, with that being said, uh, it says right here, no uh, parabens, no heavy metals, no long lighting problems, not affected by humidity. And living in the South, we have a lot of humidity. So, um, that's a huge deal too. So, that's what our little paper right here says. I'll sum it up. That's it. And here we go. Like I said, as soon as I opened it, I stopped. You can see everything is still 100% packaged, just as it was. So go ahead and clear this box out the way. All right, so I'm gonna get, um, this one's Forest Path. So I'm guessing that's the fragrance. Go ahead and get this open. I like the packaging. They used a ton of bubble tape, bu bubble wrap with tape. So as much of a pain it is to kind of open that compared to just ripping something open, uh, it helps protect it during shipping. So that's a huge plus to have, especially when you candles or anything that has any breakable components to it. I can start smelling the candle now. I love the jar design. I love the whole, not quite a mason jar, but still a country scent. Well, actually, it is a mason jar. It didn't look like it at first. It seemed more round. But no, it is. Let's go ahead and zoom in. It actually says mason jar at the top. That's really neat. Country path. Uh, country path. Forest path. Woodwick soy candle. Approximately 100 hours to for a burn. Uh, it's a screw cap. I like that. So now we've seen all around it. Let's take a look and smell. That smells really nice. It has a nice uh, foresty, woodsy sort of smell, to be quite honest. And there's your wick. Now what I'm seeing is you got the wooden wick right here, but you also have the initial, uh, it looks like a wax not, I guess a typical wax wick right up here. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a double kind of thing. Oh, it smells amazing. Sorry. But, um, so it smells really good as you can see. Um, I'm not new to soy candles. I actually love soy candles. The thing is with soy candles, you get clean burns. Instead of that, uh, black smoke and stuff that generally goes around the, um, you know, around the jar or... What you might not know is if you uh, burn a regular candle, you'll end up getting black around your ceiling. Or if you do it under a shelf, you'll see black going under your shelf. That's from your candle. Um, same like when you burn incense and stuff like that. And it won't do it the first time, or at least not noticeably. But over time, you might start seeing that dark uh, burn or smoke color to your furniture that your candle is near. Uh, even your ceiling, so even like way down, even with high ceilings, it might take a little longer, but you're still going to get it. Soy candles prevent that, so that's really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and light this up and give it a go. So I got my easy cheat sheet lighter here. It makes lighting things so much more convenient, so I don't have to worry about trying to flicker the flame. 
There we go. Little nice electric one. And it lit instantly. So that's a great start. Uh, I'm curious how this is going to burn though, just because, like I said, you have the wood wick in there. Well, and it's like attached to a typical wick, so I'm not sure, but it did catch quickly. The wood's catching. So that's really, really neat. Now, I'm not going to keep this going because I already have a candle in the background. I have a wax melt. I, I, I'm a wax melt candle lover here. It, you know, I'm not even brand particular as long as it smells good. So, great presentation. Amazing scent. It, it lit up quickly as it said it would. It didn't take forever. Um, the wood and the wick are both holding the light. Not sure if y'all can see that too much. I'm trying to zoom in for you. You know, well, I can tilt it before it all starts. So, really impressive. I like the fragrance. So, overall, um, so far, I am very, very impressed. Like I said, great quality product, great presentation, great shipping. It arrived perfectly intact, as y'all can see, no cracks or scratches to the glass. Did I say how great it smells? So, um, yeah, there's tons of benefits to having soy candles, using soy candles. Go ahead and look it up. It's not just all hype. You know, obviously, if you don't care about the black soot alone, then you know, there's other reasons. But go ahead and look it up. There's, like I said, tons of great reasons as to why soy candles are actually a better alternative to your typical regular candle. But if anything, if you don't care about all that, the fragrance of... The candle itself is amazing. So definitely a great gift idea um, and highly recommended. So I'll have a link in the description for anybody who wants to check it out further.